I'm Trizzy. And I'm Leah. The Ticket to Anywhere podcast aims to inspire, guide, and empower you to hop on that flight or plan that road trip, whether you're staying in your state or hitting up six countries in six weeks. We'll give you as much info as we know on every topic in hopes that by the end of this episode, you're already booking your next trip. Follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel for a visual podcast, Ticket to Anywhere podcast. And subscribe to our podcast on all streaming platforms, Ticket to Anywhere podcast. That's Ticket number two, Anywhere podcast. Welcome to the episode. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back, everyone. We're super excited for today's episode. It's a short one, but it's on growing up with travel and how it's influenced our lives and a large part of why we're doing this podcast today. Yeah. Yep, we're super excited. And don't forget, we are a visual podcast, so find us, find our YouTube channel, Ticket Number 2 Anywhere Podcast. We're also on anywhere you can listen to your podcast, so Google, Apple, Spotify, Anchor, Stitchers, and then find us on our social media accounts and... Shout out to us, drop us a question, tell us how you grew up with travel, yep. uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, those are our main ones. Yes. So, we can get it started, Tris. This and is going to be such a nostalgic uh, episode. Totally. I'm excited for yeah. this one. I think, I think it made a bigger impact traveling while younger yeah. with family, I think made a bigger impact on my life than I could ever imagine. Same. So, we can start off with... Our experiences growing up. What about yours? What were your experiences growing up and traveling? It was a lot of road trips and a lot of like plane sick for me. I was one of those uh, kids where I couldn't like read a book on like Uh, in the car or on the plane. You know, had to just look straight ahead or find a way to take a nap, even when I wasn't even tired. Mm-hmm. It was, mm-hmm. it was, it was tough for me. But once we got to the destinations, it's always just exciting, you know. Yeah. And my you, parents, yeah. they, um, they kind of just knew how to take us to places, but they never really explained like the history or the background right. of it. And um, so, you know. As I got older, I kind of, like, figured it out all myself and stuff like yeah. that. But, you know, I do appreciate and i um, very grateful that our family was able to take us to places that had the means. And, yeah. Yeah. So where did you go? We went to Oahu a lot, which is not a bad spot to mm-hmm. go. <laughs> um, did a lot of Vegas. My dad loved Vegas. Um, and a lot of Los Angeles because I had, uh, cousins down here. So we stayed with them and drove down to Portland a lot because I played basketball with this Asian rec league. And we also, we always had an annual tournament there Mm -hmm. and those were the main places, but we did, uh, one of the unique places that I would say is Cannon Beach, Oregon. Nice. Yeah. It's about like a four hour drive from Seattle. And from what I remember, it was very gloomy. The sun kind of peeked out every here and there. But you would we rented like these tricycle mm-hmm. things that were like low rider tricycle, mm-hmm. and just got to ride it on the beach, the sand. So it was nice, and it was kind of like a cute town too, from what I could remember. It was similar to I don't know, like Danish town or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but. Danish. um those were the main spots and then as we got older and as I took basketball a little bit more serious we went to um Phoenix Mm -hmm. Las Vegas again for um national tournaments and also out to New Haven Connecticut and yeah it was fun those were like with friends and with one of my parents yeah so that was also like very exciting because it's like oh man I get to travel with my friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. So, in junior yeah. high and high school, that's so right. fun. Yeah. Road trips were a big thing for my family. Mm-hmm. And we went to, I've been to every single national park west of the Mississippi. Every that's... single one. From Vancouver down to San Diego, all mm-hmm. the way out to the Dakotas. I've covered every single state west of the Mississippi. I'm going to drink to that because that is, <laughs> that's a good We have the magnets to prove all of it. That's yep. so cool. So national parks were big. For my family. And this was in the 90s. So growing up traveling, I felt, was very easy, very accessible. Yeah. Uh, gas wasn't too crazy right. compared to how it is now. So road trip was what it was. Um, but besides the national parks, we've been to Alaska twice. We've been to Hawaii four times. We've been to 
Um, the, we did a really cool road trip throughout the Northeast where we landed in Boston. We did Cape Cod, came back around through Massachusetts, um, went up to Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and back down to Massachusetts. And there we did the basketball hall or yep, yeah, basketball hall of fame. We did the baseball hall of fame in Cooperstown. On a separate trip, we did the rock and roll hall of fame in Ohio. Um, that was when we did the Midwest. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've also done the college football hall of fame down in Atlanta on my own. And that was an adult trip that wasn't part of my childhood, but just to mention how many hall of fames I've been to yeah. and not that I care about any of them. <laughs> what a memory. I know. It's <laughs> a very, we also went to the glass museum in Corning, New York or Corning. I think that's mm-hmm. the name of the city. We did Disneyland at least twice a year growing up and growing up in a family of three other siblings plus myself, like Disneyland was well worth it. Yeah. This was when parking at Disneyland was, you know, like 15, 10, $15 a car. So very affordable, but we'd always, we'd spend um, a lot of time at Disneyland just because where I grew up was probably like an hour and a half drive. So not far at all. So we did Vegas, this is a cool tradition, Vegas every year for spring break for 15, 16 years, Vegas every year. That's wild. Yeah, it was wild, but it obviously isn't the Vegas as an adult, but growing up Vegas had, um, you know, Eminem, they still have some of this stuff, but it means more to you when you're a kid. Yeah. Circus Circus, Excalibur, Eminem World. Oh, um, yeah. They had the Mirage Pirate Show or Treasure Island Treasure Pirate Island, Show. Yeah. Bellagio Fountain. So there's a lot to do mm-hmm. on the strip when you're a right. kid and there's the pools during the summer. But every spring break, like clockwork, we'd be in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> and those were those were kind of like normal things for me too in Vegas. You got to watch all those shows even though yes. you've seen it like multiple times. Yes. yes. <laughs> I've also been to weird places not weird. Well, I guess weird if you think about it, but cool places like things. Been to um, the Cape Cod Potato Potato Chip Factory and the Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream Factory That's as well. Cool. Mm-hmm. We've been to Tillamook in Oregon. Okay. Uh, Bush Gardens in Vancouver. Nice. Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, a lot of mountains. Mm, yeah. Um, everywhere you can think of in California, and that's actually a whole different. California's a whole different episode. That's right. But um, this is what our road trips included. We've been to the Four Corners. That is insane. Uh, Mount Rushmore. Ooh. Yeah, all these, like, iconic yeah. things growing you should up. Get, you so. should get your own little National Park passport and just, like, stamp it yourself yeah, and see. I know, <laughs> man. So um, did your family on your trips or anything have any interesting or unique habits or things that would happen often or every time or things that only happened on trips i would always get sick so that Aww. is a motion like motion like sickness. motion sickness yeah. yeah boats cars planes um but i'm better at it now yeah thankful for drama mean <laughs> and um i mean kind of like i'm sure your parents were the same asian parents are all the same very frugal they packed their lunches, packed their food, packed their drinks. Um, but I think when it came down to Oahu, we were a bit more willing to splurge. Mm-hmm. Um, Los Angeles, when we did come down, I would say um, always Chinese food. They would go down to oh. the Orange County area yeah. in that Vietnamese town. Garden Grove. Yeah. Westminster. Yeah. They oh, yeah. I worked there. there. <laughs> Oh, did you? I worked at the Old Navy in Westminster during college. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was, um, and we'd also always want to hit up every single Chinatown oh, in yes. the cities, any cities that we went to. Actually, my family did that too, though. Yeah. We did that also, yeah. Yeah, the Chinatown area. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, yeah, and I feel like it, I secretly kept with that tradition because, you know, I went to Philly um, earlier this year. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I want to go to the Chinatown. Yeah, <laughs> why not? I mean, apparently you got to get to it in Bangkok now as well. Yes, I know. <laughs> so, True. Um, I love it. Yeah. Any that's other? That's about it. They, yeah. um, they did a good job of uh, meeting family members or old friends, too. Oh, in wherever you went. cities that we went to. Yeah. That's Im- and I'm like, I think that's important. Keep in touch? There was no Facebook back then. Yeah. How? Like phone that's, call. Phone call. Pick up the landline. Is it the yellow page? It's like, <laughs> I don't even know no, how that works. Are still in here. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Oh, it's- that's really good. I think that's important mm-hmm. because when you're younger, you're soaking all of that up. Like yeah. You see, wow, they keep in touch with this friend who's been in their life for years yeah, now. That's for sure. 
That's really important. That's yeah. good. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. So those are those are about it that I can remember. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Um, the habits, man, that my family had. Um, habits and traditions. We went a lot on a lot, a ton of road trips. Road trip yeah. every single year. And that's actually how my favorite band is the Eagles. Okay. Which is interesting to me because I listen to a lot of hip hop and R and B. And when people discover that my favorite band's the Eagles, uh-huh. so I'm like, well, it's because I would listen to them for three <clears throat> weeks straight at Aww. least every year. So my father obviously drove us on these road trips. We had a oh man, we had a Mazda MVP van. Ooh, I like those. Do you remember those vans? I, I do remember. We had that van for no joke. I'm not even kidding, like Ooh. 10, 12 years. I love so that. So that's for some what reason. we did all of our road trips yeah. in a silver one. Oh, it was so ugly. It was so <laughs> ugly. But my father <laughs> would always be in control of the radio, of course. Mm-hmm. And we'd listen to the Eagles, the Carpenters, Neil nice. Diamond, Kenny Loggins, wow. Chicago. We'd listen to all these great, like old school, like yeah. rock uh-huh. and whatnot. And so that's how I fell in love with the Eagles. Um, Sweet. So that's that's a cool habit. My parents were incredibly frugal when it came uh, frugal as much as frugality would allow <laughs> when it came to these trips. Obviously, taking five people on a trip was yeah. no inexpensive, was no cheap feat, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So on these road trips, we'd pack probably eighty percent of our food Oof. as much as we could. We'd pack big ass mm-hmm. coolers yeah. with ice packs. And my father would make us eat what we brought. Yeah. He would never, for at least for breakfast and for lunch, we would never, on a road trip, we would never eat anywhere. He would never buy it. He'd mm. be like, eat what's in the car. Right. When we got to the destination, which was usually by dinner time at, at least, we would go out to eat. Gotcha. But he, we'd eat most of our meals in mm. um, every day. And so he was frugal that way, packed the family van with food. He would only, because we were always on like a crazy two to three week road trip around wherever the heck, all around the western half (laughs) of the United States, he would only stop the van to go to the bathroom once per day. And keep in mind, these are three little girls, my siblings, three little girls who just, you know, you couldn't hold your pee but he would literally only stop once and that was it. And he was adamant about that. And so we had to train ourselves. Yeah. To only pee once per day. Um, <laughs> and we always we always filmed. We didn't film us peeing. <laughs> but we always filmed all of our trips. My dad was big on like his camcorder. Ooh, yeah. camcorder. And we always took photos in front of every sign everyone can imagine. And like, Cute. I'm sure at the time we were annoyed with all of it. But now right. looking back on it, it's like, man, we're so lucky we got exactly. all of this on record. <clears throat> we got it on <clears throat> film. We got it in photos. And um, now we just look back at it all, thankful yeah. that we have so many pictures yeah. of that, so many memories sure. of that. One big, it wasn't really a tradition, but like a weird, weird habit. Mm-hmm. So we'd go to spring break Vegas every year right and my dad would also make his three little girls and my mom his wife uh walk the strip (laughs) and he wouldn't carry us and the strip is like a mile or no more like maybe two miles it probably feels like three miles for little girls yeah we'd walk up and down he would never carry us he'd be like you can do it he's like you guys play soccer you can do it you're fine I mean then he would let us go pee as much as we want (laughs) but he would make us walk up and down because, mm-hmm. once again, the frugality. Yeah. Uh, no, we're not taking a cab anywhere. No yeah. way. Why do nope. that when you can walk and see yeah. the sights? I think those were, like, cute habits. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's just the way. Every family's different, it's very right? character building, it seems like. It is. You know? It is. And, yeah. I mean, I think walking is just not a cultural thing, truthfully, for Americans. <laughs> and my dad decided to, like, break that barrier yeah. when we were younger. Yep. So it's helped us travel the way we do now. We try to walk everywhere you can. There you go. So did you have a, like, most exciting place you went to? I did. And I think it was because... It was different from Oahu, which we went uh, two or three times, and Vegas, which we would go every other summer, Mm -hmm. and Los Angeles, which we would go every other summer if it wasn't Vegas. Um, So I was excited, and I am still in love with Phoenix, Arizona. Oh. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Just because we went there, I went there with my friends slash teammates for one of our basketball tournaments. We won fifth place national out of like 70 other teams and um 
I love hot weather. Mm-hmm. Hence, this is why I moved from Seattle you, to wait, Los Angeles. Do you really love hot weather? I love hot weather. So, I don't like but humidity. So do I. Oh, okay. humidity <laughs> is what I can. Like, if oh, it's okay. hot and dry, so like the or, desert, you're okay yes, with? Yes. Okay. The desert, cool. I'm happy with. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I love the burning of my feet when I hit the sand. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Phoenix was just fun. I think it just brought good memories, like very accomplishing memories. Mm-hmm. And um, basketball was like a very important sport aspect of my life. Yeah. Well, so, when you're winning tournaments out there, no wonder you love you I, love a city. <laughs> it's yeah. associated with yeah. that now. And I want to uh, emphasize that we were uh, mostly Asian, short Asian girls mm. winning national fifth place. Out of 70 other teams. and That's awesome. That was, yeah, that was great. Bring the glory back to your hometown. Exactly. <laughs> I would say we were somewhat of a pioneer. <laughs> <laughs> so I would, I, 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 I still love Arizona, Scottsdale, Phoenix, Sedona. There's like tons of other places that I want to go to That's in Arizona. Cool. So, yeah. yeah. Love it. Mm-hmm. Love it. Yeah, what about you? What's your most exciting place? Most exciting place. Honestly, I... I really loved every trip we went on. And I yeah. think when you're younger and in so much awe and wonder, I mm-hmm. think you, one, don't grasp how important each place is and you don't grasp the history and the context of everything Yeah, because you're young, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I obviously wasn't appre- as appreciative of it as a child. I right. mean, as much as I say I loved it, there were many times where I remember screaming, like, are we there yet? Mm. I don't want to be here. Don't want to take the picture. I'm hungry. I'm tired, yeah. etc." My bladder's full. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. But I don't think there was ever... I don't know that I had a favorite. Mm -hmm. I was just... We did so much that it was just always on to the next thing. And it was a cool tick off the bucket list. Yeah. I think um, the fact that we... Both of us Mm -hmm. were able to travel for as much as we did every single year growing up. Yeah. I think that's a big blessing and it's a, a privilege and we were very, very lucky that yeah. our parents were able to provide that for us Definitely. because, you know, I know people that hadn't like left their state until mm-hmm. they were adults. So I think something that I realized in a, as an adult mm-hmm. is that we were give, we were so lucky to experience that when we were younger. You don't yeah. know and you don't realize that when you're younger. Right. You're just like, oh God, another three week vacation. Yeah. Away from my friends. Yeah, away from my friends or away from my toys at home because, you know, there was no internet back then. Right. We didn't have no phones back then. We had nothing. We had the radio. Yeah, that's true. Now I'm just making this sound (laughs) old. the radio (laughs) and a CD player or a set tape. Yeah, or some games. Like, we'd play games. We'd play, obviously, all the road trip games. Like, yeah. Who can see a blue car first? (laughs) Slug bug. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) So, um... Not not one experience stood out. Probably, if anything, the Alaska and Hawaii trips, obviously, yeah. because those were very, very far. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very far. And those were actually taken always with extended family. So okay. aunts and uncles and some co- sometimes cousins, but grandparents as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Did you see the Northern Lights when you were there? No. Mm-hmm. Okay. No. What part of Alaska then? Uh, we went to Anchorage. Anchorage. Okay. And, oh my gosh, the first time we were there... Denali like National Park which is an area mm. but then the second time we went was on a cruise Ooh, where we stopped in a few glaciers. different ports and we took off from Seattle oh nice yeah Dope. so we just spent a day there on the mm. way back actually we spent a day also in Canada on the way back cool in Alaska which was amazing it's where I fell in love with fish and chips actually my first <laughs> trip there when I was 12 that's where I fell in love with fish and chips was Alaska Mm. Still my favorite meal to this day. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> I will never get to experience that because I don't eat seafood. <laughs> but I guess if I ever want to, right? Alaska would be the place yeah, to try. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's so fresh. Catch yeah. it right there. Ooh. 100%. Okay. And, you know, if you're thinking about going next year, oh, might yeah. as well. We'll see. Yeah. I'll have to mentally prepare myself for Mentally it. prepare. <laughs> 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 or just have someone else order it. You can try some of their food. That's true. Low commitment. Yeah. Low financial commitment ah, on your <laughs> smart, and then I'll eat all the fries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See the frugality still yeah, sticks with still us. us. <laughs> Just eat someone else's food. You're yeah. fine. <laughs> <laughs> True. So, how has the way that you traveled when you're younger influenced the way you've traveled? You travel now, if at all. Yeah. Well, I think now I 
go more in depth with my research before I hit up like a city or mm-hmm. country. Um, just because, you know, like I like I mentioned, my parents were kind of just like, let's go here. And then I didn't know like the culture of the history of mm-hmm. the places that we went to. But now I know more about Oahu. I know more about Arizona, Connecticut, and um, Vancouver, Vietnam, and stuff. And I'm just like, okay, I've been to Vietnam, but maybe I want to go back to experience it in a different way. Mm -hmm. So I can learn more about um, their culture. And there's different places now that I want to go see there. Sure. So, yeah, I would say probably just... Learning the culture of it, learning the history That's of the great. cities, and more facts before I hit it up. Yeah. So, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. I realize my parents never really prepped us for trips either. They're mm-hmm. just like, we're going. Yeah. And, like, you're a kid, you're not going to argue with them. Right, right. And but so, how did you... I, it seems, unless you are you looked back into all the places that you went to as an adult, mm-hmm. but you seem to know a lot of, like, history behind the places, like, I mean, we've been to the Grand Canyon twice, and I couldn't tell you the history of Uh, the Grand Canyon. mm -hmm. And we've been to Alaska twice. I couldn't Mm -hmm. tell you the history of Alaska. Uh, So I think, um, no, I mean, I think I'm, I think I'm, I can summarize everywhere we've went to (laughs) pretty well, but fine details. Yeah. I couldn't tell you much because I'd have to do it again as an, as an adult also. For sure. And in the way that, I mean, every year my family took two to three weeks Mm -hmm. each year they took us on a road trip and if it wasn't a road trip where we're starting from our house yeah we're flying to the other side of the country and then starting our road trip trip. there yeah Yeah. and for 15 plus years my family never skipped a year Mm -hmm. and so like i mentioned before incredibly lucky that my parents were able to give that to us Mm -hmm. um sometimes you know they dragged us along because we were like oh away from our friends but man like to be able to do that every yeah. year, such a blessing. And I think that True. stuck with my sisters and my brother and myself nowadays. Mm-hmm. And um, we we travel as much as I c- we can, even yeah. on weekend road trips. And yeah. my parents, they don't, they're not CEOs. They don't own their own businesses. Mm-hmm. They're blue collar workers. They work yeah. for the post office. Mm-hmm. So to to gather all those funds and take five, six people on a trip every year Seriously. was really, was really great of them. And, you know, this was in a time where things were different, you know, yeah. cost of living was different. Right. Um, and even my mom, like she came here from, from the Philippines mm-hmm. in her twenties for a better life. So for them to be able to give this to us was, yeah. was really cool. And I think the biggest thing that it taught me mm-hmm. was to always take that time, yeah. spend it with family, spend it with loved ones. Mm-hmm spend it on experiences and um and and take that trip like yeah. i think that was the biggest thing that it taught me it definitely taught the the my dad being frugal part of it like definitely it really conditioned us and trained us yeah that you don't need to eat out and buy food for every meal exactly. for sure and even in my daily life mm-hmm. i probably go out maybe like twice a week yeah i'm really good at making everything at home and grocery shop a lot right. so um, but yeah, definitely take that time, take that experiences. They were good at setting aside like two, three consecutive weeks and being like, all right, Amazing. we're going. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know why? Because they had the vacation day uh, and they used it. <laughs> Use them. Yes. <laughs> As Trizzy <laughs> likes to say. Yes. I like to emphasize that. Yep. Yep. But Sweet. we definitely... You know, we try to take trips whenever we can as adults right now. Yeah. It's harder to coordinate with work mm-hmm. one of my parents is retired which is nice yeah. but you know waiting on the other one i think we'll do a big family retirement trip after Aww. that yeah Ooh. Mm-hmm. that'll be exciting cool and yeah we'd love to hear how how you guys have traveled when you were growing up if yeah. you did at all or yeah. where you went or if there was one place you kept going back to every year yeah like what were your traditions mm-hmm and um you know shout out to our parents my god yeah. how did you guys do it we love you barely can do it for just me yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah i don't know how y'all did it for five people so <laughs> yep. but Just we'd love to hear all of that drop them in a comment shoot us a note and don't forget we are visual podcast so find ticket two. number two anywhere podcast on youtube and hit us up on all Social media, uh, mm-hmm. Instagram, Facebook, we're T2A Podcast on Twitter. 
Yep. And listen to us in the car, uh, anywhere you can't see us, come listen to us. And we're on all of, anywhere, all the networks you can find your podcast. So Spotify, Google, Anchor, Stitcher, Apple. And thanks for listening. We'll talk to you soon. Till the next time.